Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Horror Chick, and this time, as you can see here, we are taking a look at Slender, The Arrival. Uh, this was uh, originally released as sort of a free tech demo uh, thing for Unity back, like, I want to say a year or two ago, probably about two years at this point. Uh, that actually got a ton of attention, a ton of praise and essentially got turned into sort of a full uh, remake sequel sort of thing that is uh, this game uh, and it's one of the titles that I have been dreading as far as uh, games that I either already had or knew I would have to get for this uh, feature so uh, before we hop in I just wanted to post, uh, remind people that uh, starting next week on Monday, uh, we will be doing a little bit of a schedule change for this series. Uh, Monday, we'll be sort of revisiting one of the games that we had played previously. You know, stuff like Resident Evil, Resident Evil 5, Alan Wake, Fear. Those are games that didn't really run me out. Uh, and sort of seeing if, you know, playing a little bit more of them will do the trick. So, um, and yeah, Friday will be the normal new game sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, let's make the switch over to Slender, the arrival. And here we go. Okay, so I am playing with an Xbox One controller. Um... Yeah, so I have seen pretty much everything this game has to offer. I've seen it played through. Um, I know they have a lot of extra unlockable stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, but... Yeah, so we're going to hop in here. So yeah, this is interesting sort of thing. that It's based on basically an internet mythology sort of thing. You know, Slenderman isn't sort of a real myth, sort of uh, created on the internet by, I forget which community it was, but yeah. So I haven't seen this intro though. So yeah, one of the core things with this game, like, like has become sort of a trend for horror games of late, is the sort of found footage thing, as you can see here. Though unlike in Outlast, the battery is not a concern here. Whoa. I can push in the right stick and do the zoom thing. And I can run with the left stick. Yeah, this game looks pretty nice. And the camera is very sensitive. Like, I'm barely touching it, and it is sort of flying all over the screen. Uh, I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to go. Yeah, the original version of Slender was uh, an interesting uh, game. Just because it was sort of fairly bare bones in terms of what it offered. As you just had this uh, forest 
fenced in forest and um, you know you just wandered around try to pick up these eight pieces of paper with uh, creepy things written on them about the slender the slender man and well trees are popping in uh, yeah, let me see if I can turn down the sensity yeah, so despite offering controller support Okay, that seems a little bit better. Yeah, so it has like mouse sensitivity sensitivity tied to the right stick, so it was sort of way too sensitive for what I need. Yeah, man, that was a long walk. It's starting to get dark now. So I believe sort of the crux of the story here is that something has happened to your sister. And so you come here to help her out. Yeah, obviously not so good things are happening. Okay, what's the button here? No. Okay, I pressed every button I have. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you know what? Screw the controller. Set that down. All right. Uh oh, that's not good. Uh. Oh, great. Oh. Oh, hey. Nice panoramic shot. That looks like... Is that one panoramic shot? That's not a nice sound. supposed to head upstairs. Oh hey, neat little things. Man, it is dark in here. Whoa. Yeah, it's the developer. It's not good. Scrap 
Facebook. Okay, what is going on? Uh, you know what? Shut the door. Uh, I am almost immediate. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm almost immediately. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see what's going on. Hey, what's what? My God, it's dark in here. he pops out, have I? If I clicked on that, phone line is dead. Cigars, pianos. Have I not triggered the part where it's supposed to be scary? That's not Amnesia's uh, controls or anything like that. So I thought this part is supposed to be you're supposed to try and shut the windows. Yeah, that's still creepy. Maybe I missed something back here. Oh. Pencil. Uh. There's nothing here. Uh, 
I'm not supposed to go back outside, am I? Okay. I think I found everything here. Besides just going back outside. Haven't I? I don't know, I don't know what to do. Uh Yeah, sorry guys. Uh I guess it bugged out or something. I don't know. Can you see it? Towers, escape. I don't know. I thought something to do with this house. You had to play through with it. Or something. I don't. Whoa. Um. Yeah. I'm not seeing what to do. It's... There's nothing here, just this thing. Oh, beyond the back gate. I don't want to do that though. Whoa. So I gotta go out the back door. Yeah, sorry about that. I completely missed that was my objective. So I gotta go all the way around. How do I run? Oh, I want the flashlight on.
this. See how it runs. There's no controls. Why does it seem like this thing doesn't work at all? Maybe me starting with the controller just messes with this. It's still fairly light out, even for what it is. Oh, that's zoom. Try all these different keys. Like none of these other ones make any sense. Oh. Well, I think I figured out the ship. That's a weird thing. I don't remember seeing this part. Oh yeah, totally don't want to go in there. Shadows, scary as hell. I guess we'll continue along this path up here. Oakside Park. All right, so what is going on here? Oh. Make it really easy to break in. Okay, that's the creepiest thing in the world. Oh, hey, late settle part. Well, late for me. I didn't realize how to get to this part. See, I fully admit that I was stupid. Let's follow this stuff. Okay. Just my audio there for a second. Um, 
I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Yay, one page. Let's see how long this lasts. Information center. Centra. So not American. to get me. I don't know where he's going to come from. Yeah, we're going to skip this part. Find another place to go. around. He's somewhere nearby. Okay, no jump or anything like that. Obviously not very tall, so uh go this way. Uh yeah, I already get a little bit of a he's tired. So this is one place we're in a little earlier. Let's back it up. Oh, page. How have I gotten four pages and still haven't really seen him? The audio is coming out all right for you guys. There's that tent again. That poppin's not the nicest thing to see. Part. I don't like this anymore. I don't I don't like this now. No, no, no. We're just running around to places we've been before.
Uh, up here. Oh, hey, Van. Another page. Can't run. I'm running right here. to go. So the line marks that I have. Let's go off into the woods. That's always a smart deal. Ah, ah. So this is pretty much like the, uh, the original Slender game. Uh, no juice to run. What's that over there? The map. down the hill. I didn't even pay attention to the map, I just saw the picture and the uh, paper and ran- Ah! Ah! Things just popping right in front of me now. Ah! Ah! Just running right past you. Don't worry. I believe I've even gotten six pages. Okay, where is he? Yeah, I'm not gonna look over his shoulder. Yeah, the screen effect is one of the most effective things. So, you know, immediately when he's nearby, even if you don't directly see him. Oh, he's something Something new. It's a porta potty, let me get in. That's a flare by the porta potty. Ooh. Watchtower. Sniper nest. Whatever you want to call it. Oh my god, how do I have seven? Ah! Run, 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 run. Ah, 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 ah. to go just without running into the woods randomly. Oh yeah, 
and if you're wondering why I'm able to get to seven pages, I have this set on easy. Because I am not limited. Here's the map. Look at it. I didn't think putting it on easy would mean it would basically not be able to get me at all. That's a big surprise. If I didn't screw around in that house for 10 minutes. Ah. I might just get myself intentionally caught. I really don't want to play anymore. I think when you're in this, like, freak out mode, it intentionally disables the pausing. Because if you pay attention to the extras menu, it has a spot for attempted pauses. This is crazy. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Run! I love you! Ah! He just disappeared, what the hell? Ah! Ah! I'm not even touching anything. Look! I'm not playing! What the hell? Ah! See? Nothing! Ah! There. That was weird. I guess if you want to know what happens on Slenderman, on easy. I guess I might have to do a hard run at some point. Ooh, second video, hey. Uh. Yeah, let's exit that. Oh. So, yeah, that was interesting. Uh. Easy basically makes it incredible incredibly uh, hard to fail. Like at a point it just took control out of my hands. As you can see I was waving all over the place. Touching nothing. Uh, that was interesting to see. Just because I know the traditional way you play this game, I had no idea what easy mode to actually do. I didn't know it would just basically say, uh, you know what? You're He's right in front of you, you walk right into him, he disappears, what? It... Man. So if you can actually, like, withstand the uh, scariness and just want to remove some of the difficulty, that's a way to go. But it seems like normal is the way to play if you want to embrace it. I don't want to embrace it, so that's completely fine with me. So, uh... Yeah, that's uh, Horror Chicken for this week. Uh, I will see you guys again on Monday. And, yeah, so Slender will be back on normal mode. Uh, yeah, apologies for screwing around so much early on and uh, playing on easy mode. Yeah, I should have disclosed that right up front. I completely blanked on that. I was like, why am I getting these...
things so easily and he's barely doing much of anything. Like he is popping right in front of me and that doesn't really do anything. So uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys again next time.